Hey guys, welcome to Gaming Back, bringing you another video for our Blueprint Weapon Series, and today we're going to be covering the Black Bear Assault Rifle Blueprint for the AK-47, as well as the Elk Rut Blueprint for the M1911. So you can see on screen now, this is all available as part of the Talent Operator Bundle, which was available in shop this week for 2,400 COD points, or $24. And what this bundle comes with is a Scarecrow Operator Skin for the new Operator Talon, the Black Bear Assault Rifle Blueprint for the AK, the Elk Rut Blueprint for the M1911, the URSA Minor Watch, Blood Oath Melee, Fall Colors Calling Card, Indiana Emblem, as well as the later Operator Equip for Talon, the Sikkim Finisher, as well as a two-tier skip for the Battle Pass. So that's all available for 2,400 card points. What I'm going to do is show you what's the task on this weapon, how to build it from scratch if you don't want to buy this particular blueprint. And then we'll jump into some recoil patterns, see the dismemberment features that are particularly unique to this blueprint as well as see how it handles in game so let's go ahead and jump right into it so we have the final design for the black bear assault rifle for the ak-47 now you can see this pretty much turns it into an ak-74 but first off the attachments on this weapon we start with a muzzle break or for the muzzle attachment we're going to go with the compensator so the pros here being recoil control as well as the cons ads speed and aiming stability no barrel, laser, or optic. The stock we're opting for this blueprint, the FSS close quarter stock for the ADS speed, as well as a combi and aiming stability. No perk for the grip. This blueprint comes with the granulated grip tape. It's going to assist with aiming stability and aim walking steadiness with the combi and aim walking movement speed. The ammunition is going to be the 545 by 39 rounds for the 30 round mag. We see like a Gen 3 mag here for the 4. 545 rounds this is going to assist with the fire rate as well as the recoil control the cons being damage as well as range and then the final attachment on this weapon is going to be the underbarrel attachment for the operator foregrip which is going to assist with recoil control as well as the con here being ads speed so that is our final design for this now really quick we'll jump to the elk rut blueprint for the m1911 which comes with the compensator for recoil control ads speed and aiming stability being the cons the 45 compact barrel attachment is going to assist with ADS speed, movement speed, the cons being bullet velocity as well as recoil control. Just a regular optic here, nothing special. Sleight of hand for the reload and the perk, and then a 50 round magazine, which is going to increase your magazine capacity there. So those are the blueprints for this. Now, how do you make this? You can make this obviously from a base 40, AK-47. So here I compared it. If we put the same attachments on a base AK-47 not using a blueprint, this is what it looks like. You can obviously build this with any other blueprint, just putting the right attachments on, but you can see the differences here. So if I jump back to our Black Bear blueprint for the AK-47, some unique things here. If we preview the weapon, you'll see that we have Mac MAC-8 armory seen here on the back of the dust cover. It says Made in USA, and then we have Mac 8 Made in USA, 7.62 by 39 millimeter. And then obviously Mac 8 Armor, we have a 2 Roman numeral on the Gen 3 magazine. So you can see some unique changes with this blueprint being that we have a much cleaner wood furnish on the top of the handguard as well as the pistol grip. The trigger is red as well as the bottom of the operator foregrip. And we have some red that we just seen on the compensator as well as on the FFS buttstock there and the release for the dust cover on the rear. So very similar blueprint to the steel curtain we have the rib dust cover the stamp receiver and then obviously we just don't we have a standard ak-47 gas block we don't have a 90 degree gas block like we saw with the revolution blueprint but at base this is still going to be something similar to an ak-74m i'll link the video down below where i review all the ak builds and talk about how there's a lot of mixing and matching so we have ak-74 parts with ak-47 parts so there's a lot of mixing here I'm not sure why they do that. I think it's just so we can really make our own unique AKs with a lot of different available attachments and features to the weapons. But how does this look if we take attachments off? If I release the underbarrel, you see it goes back to the old wood furnish. You don't keep that clean wood furnish on the weapon. Only with a, any sort of underbarrel attachment, you get that underbarrel end lock to the rear lower of the handguard. And then we have the top of the handguard is going to be that newer wood furnish. So that's going to be with any underbarrel attachment, it seems. You can see here, except for like a grenade launcher or even the shotgun, I believe. But again, any of the underbarrel grips should give you the shotgun also. So it should give you that nice wood furnace. So we're going to put the operator foregrip back on. 
Uh, magazines, we take that off. You see, it's still going to be standard, nothing special. The bus stock, we take that off. We get the old AK-47 bus stock. So, again, we don't retain a clean wood furnace, unfortunately. And then the barrels are all going to be the same. That's You can see how, like, a specialized barrel will affect the blueprint there. Same as regular AK-47s. And then for the optic, if we were to throw something like a... Just anything on here, do like a Cronin or a Monocle. You see we have the little bit of unique. So we have the same dovetail mount that we see on the steel curtain. And we have a little bit of a red, which is now seen here to go in to go in sync with this blueprint where the Monocle red dot is mounted there on top. So that's a nice feature. Other than that, that's the final attachment for this blueprint. So again, this is at base an AK-74M, I would say. We have a lot of mixing parts with an AK-47, AKM, and an AK-74. So and this is also made in USA. So I'm not sure if they're trying to replicate something like an Arsenal AK or a Kalashnikov USA type model. But again, this is going to be an AK-74M for the most part. So get a game some unique features about this weapon. This and the pistol for the Alcrut both have a special dismemberment feature. So if I were to jump into my armory while we show some of this off on screen and I look at the Alcrut blueprint and the Black Bear blueprint... In the weapon details, it says, Maul your enemies with a Black Bear Assault Rifle featuring a built-in dismemberment effect to amp up the destruction. So you see that both on the Black Bear as well as the Elk Rut Blueprint for the 1911. So you can do that with both weapons, which is pretty cool to see. And you'll see here on screen what that looks like. You're able to take off uh, heads, legs, arms if you're aiming for the limbs. And you can see it almost has something like an incendiary effect if you were to shoot it on walls or even when you impact on the enemies. You can see the, the rounds almost burning with that extra dismemberment effect that's built into the ammunition of these two blueprints. So recoil control is going to go basically straight vertical on the Black Bear Assault Rifle. The M1911, nothing really special with the, it's just a pistol, so there's not anything crazy with the recoil. But the Black Bear is going to go straight vertical, so you're able to compensate for it very easily. You'll see me do it here as well as in the gameplay just able to pull straight down with this, and you have a very accurate assault rifle. So overall, I really like this blueprint. I think... I think that it is a really nice design. The camouflage covers everything on the weapon except for the barrel, uh, as well as the magazine and the foregrip, as well as if you had an optic on there. The compensator would also not be covered. So that's something to keep in mind if you're doing anything with this weapon with camos. But overall, it's a very nice looking AK-47 or an AK-74 for this blueprint. I love the, the new wood furnish on this. It looks much more modernized and clean compared to the old rustic AK-47 models that we see I think this is one of the better looking blueprints but again nothing crazy as far as cosmetic changes with this uh, it's very similar to the steel curtain blueprint just with some some wood furnace changes on this and a little bit of red here and there and obviously the magazine is updated for the 545 rounds to give us more of a gen 3 ak-74 magazine so let me know down below what you guys think of this blueprint and what do you, you want to see for the blueprints coming in the future? Also, the Alcor blueprint for the 1911. Very nice pistol. It still has that dismemberment feature. You'll see me use it here in the, in the gameplay as well. But you're really able to take off heads and arms, which I think is pretty cool. But overall, I think the 5.45 rounds are still just underpowered. I was using this a lot in multiplayer today, and I still just don't see a reason to use it over the 7.62 by 39 rounds, which hit much harder. And especially given the recoil... You're able to take out your enemies much faster. There's just a lot of a lot of situations I find myself in online using the 5.5 rounds with this blueprint, where you're putting ammo, a lot of rounds in the enemies, and they're just not dropping. Whereas if you had 7.62, they'd be done uh, much quicker time to kill. So just keep that in mind when you're using this. I would also recommend probably swapping something out for an optic, maybe the compensator for some sort of optic. For some reason, I find it a little difficult to aim with this, and it's almost as if the 7.62 rounds don't kick as much as the 5.5 for some reason. Maybe it's just the attachments, but I was having difficulty keeping my sights on the target with the 5.5 rounds with this blueprint, especially using it online. But here you can see it's pretty accurate. I did practice with it quite a bit, so maybe it just takes a little bit getting used to with these attachments and the recoil pattern being straight vertical. So if you just pull straight down, you should be okay. But let me know down below what you guys think of this blueprint, what you want to see for AK blueprints or other blueprints coming forward. Also, we had the announcement this week that Modern Warfare 2 remastered is most likely coming with season three it wasn't really it wasn't announced officially by activision infinity ward yet but it was leaked in the game files with the update that we saw on thursday as well as a new ghost operator skin and the 141 m4 blueprint that we also saw in available in the leak so i'll we'll have to see when that's coming 
Uh, could be season three, could be much later. We'll have to wait and see, but I'll definitely be covering that as well as the gameplay for MW2 remastered for the campaign if that is in fact coming. Again, we haven't had any official announcement. Just leaks in game code and source code for the game with the latest updates. So again, we'll have to just wait and see for that. But I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the gameplay for this Black Bear Assault Rifle Blueprint for the AK-47. Turning it into the AK-74M for the most part with some shared parts with the AK. So I'll link the videos down below for the all AK build as well as some of the Steel Curtain builds for you to check out as well if you haven't already. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you are liking the content, hit that notification bell. It lets you know as soon as I post a video, which is usually daily for the most part, that we can stay up to date with all the latest weapon builds that we're doing. And for the Blueprint series as well as the Conversion series, especially with the upcoming weapons for Season 3 and the 141 Blueprint for the M4, which should be really nice. Looking forward to getting my hands on that and seeing the differences. So let me know down below what kind of Blueprints or weapons you want to see added in the future. And I'm going to leave you guys with the gameplay. Until next time, Buffer Gaming. Out. Available. Point your mark. 